Okay, Friday afternoon, loving it. It's Vice Day, best day of the week. Several stories this week prove that we need to defend our vices from the vice grip of the government's heavy hand. And to help me bite the hand that is whacking us, ex Chippendale author and law graduate Greg Raffetto joins me from Mammoth Lakes. How are you doing, Greg? Just doing great today. How about you, Joey? Outstanding, outstanding. Yeah, about my, you told me earlier about your tooth that got yanked yesterday, and now that you're off your Vicodin high, how, how does it feel? No pain? Uh, I'm doing okay. <laughs> you're tough. You can you can handle it. Yep, yep. Well, um, I, I'm going to battle the pain here with, uh, with these new stories. I think i got my margarita lined up here. But uh, here, here's, here's, you, Joey. here's what I... Here's, see, I, and just... In honor of you, I'm, I'm going to put on my red G-string, too, because I'm so angry <laughs> about the nanny right, laws. <laughs> yeah, I'll stand out on the balcony and try to get some attention. It's just these nanny laws that they're passing or, and being enforced this week. It, you know, it's, if it ain't the bailouts, and then it's the nanny laws. You know? So here, here's, here's the thing. The item one is... See, these things, I think, go under the radar because everyone's so fixated on the bailouts and all this, but you know, these things just gall me. The feds freeze the accounts of online gambling payment processors. So those are shoreside, you know, stateside guys who are just processing payments for these offshore gambling uh, outfits. So the U.S. Attorney... Uh, Arlo Devlin Brown writes five letters to five different banks, including Wells Fargo and Citigroup, in which he declares the Department of Justice had probable cause that the accounts of a payment processing company, not that, not the actual uh, gambling company called Allied Systems Incorporated, were being used for quote money laundering and illegal gambling offenses, and were subject to be illegally seized, no, legally seized by the FBI. So the banks cave and freeze the Allied Systems accounts and all the checks to the online gambling winners bounced. And the article goes into some of their stories. So basically the feds have banned, we have a ban on U.S. businesses from online gambling. So U.S. players play online on offshore or websites. So there's no law against that. The so-called casual better. So the feds look at this racketeering law that was made in 1961 called Federal Wade Wire Wager Act, and they use it to say, well, it has to do with are they facilitating gambling? So therefore, we're going to freeze their accounts on you know on charges of racketeering. So my question is, what the hell do the people of the U.S. gain by the Department of Justice preventing transactions which are not illegal? And isn't comforting the banks are so quick to cooperate with the DOJ, even without a warrant for seizure in the case of the Allied Bank in Arizona, and just a letter with allegations in it that can be used to, to shut the accounts down. So this punk-ass thug Arlo Devlin Brown can write a fucking letter and scare a little bank in Arizona doing whatever the fuck they want without any judicial authority. So <laughs> this Arlo Devlin Brown can write... The, the payment processor allied systems are subject to season, seizure and forfeiture uh, or the, the accounts are because they constitute property involved in money laundering transactions and illegal gambling offenses what a crock <laughs> it's such a stretch you know, money laundering is what they always claim when they've got nothing Yeah. I mean money laundering implies wrongdoing in obtaining the funds if you have not done anything wrong in obtaining the funds, then you're not money laundering. And if that's the only thing that they're citing is money laundering, I say they've got nothing, and they know it. <laughs> Looks weak. Is it one another one of those show things? You know, they got to just flaunt their authority. So this thug, Arlo, him and Eric Holder, twist up the interpretation of the Wire Act. You know, isn't it strange coincidence that Wells Fargo and Citigroup who got bailouts are on this short list of banks that can be ordered around so easily, or and the and the ones that that uh, the little banks too are getting intimidated by them. Little banks always get intimidated, but yeah, Citigroup and Wells Fargo. Each 
just got $25 billion in the bailout, including $5 billion for City to purchase Merrill Lynch and $5 billion for Wells to purchase Wachovia. And, yeah, it does strike me as uh, very interesting that uh, these banks that receive bailout money are so quick to cave now. It, it really worries me uh, what's going to happen when the more we nationalize our banks. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, it's, it, well, that's the other hand, you know, they nationalize on the one hand, and on the other hand, they go in and they, uh, they tell you what to do. I 